back, we back. Back. Another episode of Wolf of Charles Street. So once again, I want y'all to just, yeah, man, be mindful. You know, this was inspired by the Wolf of Wall Street. He was a financial genius guru. So you feel me? I, I want to continue to tie finances and just business into this podcast. This joint rolled good too. Ladies, man, y'all gotta learn how to roll, man. Y'all want me to do a little tutorial for y'all, show y'all how I roll? Yeah, man, that's cool. That's real cool when it's when you roll that blunt up. Say, yeah, yeah, man, go ahead and spark it. Yeah, man. Save me a lot of time. It's cool. You all got to smoke. You feel me? You all to smoke, but know how I roll the blunt up. You feel me? That's fly. That's real fly. Had my own, I got my own strain on and everything, y'all. I'm just dealing with a lot of taxes right now, man. I'm killing with the taxes, like. And that's what basically taxes are made for, you feel me? To keep you, amen? Keep your ass in a hole, keep your ass to a certain length. And so I'm trying to reach out to the growers, you feel me? Y'all know any growers, you feel me? Top notch, you know what I mean? Plug me in for, for my cannabis heads out there. But yeah, man, finances, man. Gotta be about our finances. Ain't nothing, yo, ain't nothing like being in a broke relationship, like. Like two broke motherfuckers in a relationship. That's that's one stressful relationship. Like just <laughs> just growing up, yeah, man. Even if you were kids, you feel me. And then growing up in a, in a <laughs> under a broke relationship is it's it's a real tense. It's a tense, yeah, man. Tense atmosphere. And then you get all the. And you get in your own relationships. <laughs> I mean, I've been in I've been in multiple phases of financial stages in relationship, but two broke motherfuckers in a relationship, man, that's a stressful relationship. I don't know. I'm seeing it all, man. You got your girls that convinced the guy to get on child support. You got that type of broke shit going on. Now his ass got warrants and all that kind of shit. <laughs> you got you got the you got the the broke hustler, the broke hustler, the hustler. He the type, the nigga. He steal out his girl purse. He try to flip the tax money, and then you got that yeah, man. The nigga's really getting to some bread. You feel me? But you feel me? He hustling all day and night. You feel me? Real stressful life, real risky. So like, just, just even then, even if you two work, two working people have two jobs. That's if you can't afford to take off a year from your job, well, you broke. Yeah, man, you know, living paycheck to paycheck is broke. So just like two broke people in a relationship is a real stressful relationship. Just growing up like that, you know. Uh, the lights off, the, ain't no food in the refrigerator, you feel me? And knowing like, damn, I got, I got my banana stuff off and both of them working and it still ain't enough, you feel me? Like just experiencing, you know, those type of things. Like I'm old enough to just reflect on it, but two broke motherfuckers in a relationship, it's whoo, stressful. That's a stressful relationship. So now this is just a little advice that I'm going to give. Sometimes you got to take a break from that relationship and get your business together. 
sometimes it's hard for people to be alone. Some people can't be alone. But if if you're just in a relationship and like finances is just like a major issue with the relationship, each don't one feel like they're not getting what they want out of the relationship. Sometimes you might have to just take a break. If y'all can't come together and find a way to maybe, you know, create a business and, you know, increase y'all income and live on y'all terms, maybe you got to take a break and get your business together. You feel me? Yeah, that's... It's really a draining way to live, you feel me? I don't know, like, I choose, I choose to do opposite, you feel me? Like, I've been in those relationships with that, and man, it's like, I'm trying to get it, you feel me? And it's like, she want things, or you want to impress her with things, you feel me? You want to buy her things, because sometimes, you feel me, that's, you know, we, we get kind of caught up in that's, you know what I mean, expressing our feelings in ways like that and trying to live by, you know, standards and shit, trying to keep up with the Joneses and shit. But, yeah, like, till, till you know what I mean, you get that bag right and you, you know what I mean, sometimes you got to take that relationship break, man. Now, it's not saying you don't love the other person, but if you notice you, that y'all just butting heads and y'all struggling and y'all doing all type of wild shit and y'all can't get it together, and it and if it always boils down to money, like sometimes you just gotta take that, and man, you just had that little break, and however long it take for you to get your business together where you can financially take care of yourself and somebody else. You feel me? You got you to do that. Or else it's going to be a real stressful relationship. Real stressful relationship. Real stressful relationship. But yeah, but like I said, it, it always boils back down to business. So like, yeah, you, if you see that business is negatively affecting your relationship, well, you got to address that. Oh, it's, it's not going to get no better. It's going to get worse and worse. I, um, I want to go and review another classic today with y'all. This is Dead Presidents. Classic. Hood classic. You feel me? you never seen Dead Presidents, so check it out. I want to share with y'all this clip. Now. And this young man has obviously forgotten some very fundamental things like decency and dedication and honor. Everything the Corps taught us. He is a disgrace to everyone that has ever put on that uniform, and I will not permit you or him to use the Vietnam War as a cop out here. Anthony Curtis, for your participation in this crime, a crime that took the lives of several innocent people. I do hereby sentence you to the custody of the Attorney General of the United States for a period of 15 years to life. Oh, my God. These proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. Life? What do you mean, life? For all the shit I did for this motherfucking country? The fuck he talking about life? Man, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, Remove the prisoner from the court. Fuck you. 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 Fuck when you hear them, you man, you hear them football numbers, man. You hear certain numbers, man. Them, them, them numbers is hurtful numbers, man. Oh, it's hurtful numbers. So, yeah, man, like I, man, I've got some numbers. I've gave some numbers back. I've been in plenty of, I mean, seen other people get them numbers, man, and them numbers be hurtful, man. But. 
it's a business, man. It's a business. They got to keep the jails filled, you find me? It's a business. So if they could, and man, if, you, if they know they guaranteed that they going to get this certain amount of 30,000, 40,000, how much they, they get per person for the next 15 to life, they taking that. That's a good deal. It's a, that's a great investment. You feel me? So I remember when I what my first my my first like serious case. You feel me? My first serious case. I was like 19, 20. and just going through that that experience, man. Just just really seeing how they they and man how they all. It's really just they just going to work. They all cool with each other. It's not like how how they show it in, in, in the movies. How like <laughs> I mean, the the two opposing sides don't like each other, and like it's not like that at all. Like these are buddies, these are friends, these are colleagues. The, you know what I mean, like they go hang out with each other, you feel me? In relationship with each other, all type of stuff. You feel me? The kids know each other, like. It's really just a business. So me getting to see that firsthand, it was like, wow, okay. So now I see what this is about. So I knew I was going to get my time. Like everything was so janky. Everything was so, everything that looked so rehearsed, like I already knew, man, it's a wrap, man. I mean, it's, I just got, I mean, dude, do what I got to do to just, you know, man, get up out of this situation. And I did, but I learned. I learned that it was a business. I learned, man, a valuable lesson, you feel me? So, man, I'm thinking about even investing in private prisons. I mean, <laughs> I'm talking about building my own. Like, it's going to be a little bit more nicer, a little bit nicer mattresses, a little thicker mattresses, you feel me? Maybe a little pillow, pillow top mattress. I'm gonna make sure everybody got flat screens, free cable, um, you know, real water, you feel me? Good food, you feel me? Like, cause the niggas gonna keep getting locked up. People gonna keep getting locked up. It's just a business, you feel me? So I'ma just have a yeah man, like if you gonna niggas gonna wanna like, niggas gonna wanna go to my prison. They gonna be like, yo, transfer me over there. Yeah, like yeah, you feel me? They, they got Milkshakes and all the ice cream, you feel me? They have full, you know what I mean, we got Starbucks, you feel me? And yeah, man, we gonna have a partnership with the and McDonald's and all of them, you feel me? I'm gonna I'm make sure it's, I yeah, mean, a little bit more decent. Y'all do y'all time, cause, you know what I mean, y'all wanna go to jail. A lot of y'all just repeat offenders. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of guys. You feel me? They don't want to deal with the responsibility of, you know, real life, you mean? Taking care of the kids, and, you feel me? So they rather just go chill on the bunk, and that's just the reality. Because I ain't going to cap, man. And the jail is just like being on the streets for real. We in there gambling, we in there socializing, you feel me? We in there talking shit, you feel me? It's a whole lot of just, you feel me, man? A lot, it's a, it's a playground to a lot of people that's up there, you feel I me? Mean? And they end up getting into it, you know what I mean? Getting into the wrong shit, extending their stay, you feel I me? Mean? But if you also go up there with the right mind and, you know, see what this shit about, you feel I me? Mean? Just educate yourself then, and man, never go back, you feel I me? Mean? And man, you become a wolf, you feel I me? Mean? You out here, you know, you know them big wolves, you feel me? They don't, they don't do too much jail time, like, <laughs> yeah, man. They can, stay, they can stay on millions and millions of dollars, but there ain't too much jail time gonna come behind that. So you gotta be a wolf, man. Yeah, man. Be the business, not used by the businesses, but, yeah, man. <sighs> Listen, I ain't have my notes today. I, that went off the top of the head, y'all, you feel me? I just felt like I had to drop drop another episode like ASAP, man. Y'all heard Lil' Key just passed away, man. Listen, I ain't gonna speculate, but I heard it's the it's the lean, man. It's the lean. And man, it's the lean and the other drugs, you feel me? 
Yeah, man, I done lost a lot of childhood friends uh, from, you know, just mixing a whole bunch of different type of drugs together. And that lean, and you feel me? So, we see it, you feel me? Since Pimp, since Pimp C, you feel me? We've been seeing it, you feel me? Fredo. Then you got the then you got the 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 artists that get hospitalized for all that, but don't really be talking about it. You feel me? I think French Montana, shit, Ghana. You feel me? Like a lot of these niggas was hospitalized off that shit. You feel me? So it's like, and man, like yeah, y'all want to keep promoting the double cup. Once again, that's just business, y'all. Y'all making a. a Y'all making a pharmaceutical company. Y'all making them all this fucking money by just popularizing they drug, you feel me? Y'all, and you know, niggas dying off this shit, you feel me? And then the next kids is just picking up the double cup and keeping it going, you feel me? Come on, man. It's common sense. It's right in your face, man. Low key, he's gonna like 24, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all see what y'all saw how Guwap was. Guwap had the big lean gut. You feel me? That wasn't Guwap wasn't fat. Guwap was was bloated. You feel me? <laughs> A lot of these little niggas is getting bloated. You feel me? And that shit is just just sitting and sitting in there. You feel me? So come on, man. Let's wake up, y'all. You feel me? Let's be wolves out here. You feel me? Let's leave. Something for the next generation. Let's leave businesses. Let's leave ideals. Let's leave new things and many new horizons. You feel me? Better the planet instead of destroying it and destroying ourselves. The Wolf of Charles Street.